Today, um, I'm going to put an electric fence around this field of organic rye. Uh, that's so we can graze some uh, some young lambs. Uh, they're female lambs I'm going to put on here, the ones that we will breed off next year. So I can just do to keep them cheaply for the year. Uh, this is, like I say, it's organic rye. I am growing it as a seed crop, so we will be combining it uh, later on this summer. Uh, we established it in October. Uh, rye grows very well through the winter, so it's looking it's looking good at the moment. Uh, a little bit thin in the odd patch, but not bad at all. There's a few volunteer beans. Um, sometimes the lambs will get rid of the beans. Uh, the beans are like these ones down here. They're sort of remains of what the combine threw over from last year's crop. I don't really want them in the rye, um, and sometimes the lambs will eat them out. Um, but the rye is very competitive, so it'll probably outcompete the beans anyway. So, um, but it's a good time of year to put the sheep on this crop. Uh, I don't think it does any harm. I think it does help it to tiller out a bit, uh, by which I mean, uh, where's my finger? If you look at these plants, uh, a lot of these leaves will come up uh, and there'll be a grain head at the top of each one. But there's a lot of very small shoots here at the base of the plants. If the sheep graze off the bigger ones, it encourages the smaller ones to grow a bit quicker. Uh, and it may even encourage a few new ones to grow as well. So the sheep will predominantly take the tops off these uh, off these young rye plants, but it will encourage the smaller tillers to be a bit more vigorous. Uh, it's really quite handy at this time of year as well, because um, I mean, it's lovely and warm today. But the grass hasn't grown much around here at the moment. Uh, and oddly enough, we could really do with uh, a little bit of rain. But um, hopefully we'll get that soon. So grass is quite short, so it's really quite handy to be able to put my lambs on here for a while. Because um, it's uh, it gives my permanent grasses a bit more time to grow back. And I could do with all the permanent grass uh, we can at the moment. Because we've just about started lambing. So soon all the ewes and lambs will... Uh, want as much grass as they can possibly get to get them growing. So I'm just in the process of putting an electric fence around this field, uh, partly because the sheep really like to eat the hedge plants in spring when the leaves are just starting to come out and I don't really want them eating the hedges. Uh, so that's uh, one of the main reasons for putting the fence up really because they are the fenced on the other sides of the hedges anyway but this is really an arable field so I wouldn't normally have livestock in here. So the fences are on the far sides of the hedges. Um, so I'm just putting the fences up really to um, to stop the sheep eating the hedges as much as anything. Uh, it's a battery powered electric fence that we uh, we can drive along with this buggy and trailer uh, and reel the wires out and then I'll hook them onto the posts, tighten them up, put the battery on, let the sheep in uh, and hopefully they'll stay in here for, I don't know, maybe two, maybe even three weeks, we'll see, it depends. I can't leave them on too late because eventually the rye really needs to start growing up to start producing a uh, seed head. So um, I'll, anyway, I'll put some film of them, on of them when they're in here and I'll also try and get some film with some lambs fairly soon. Okay.